بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ٹوڈے وی ہیو دا سیکنڈ پارٹ آف بدھزم دیٹ از کلنگ نان کلنگ وائلنس نان وائلنس اینڈ اٹس ایٹیچیوڈ اینڈ ایپٹیوڈ ٹوڈ وائلنس وی سی دیٹ نارملی ان دا ٹیچنگس ان دا لاسٹ ایپیسوڈ وی سا دیٹ بدھسٹ مارکس ہیو پرامسڈ ناٹ ٹو کل اینی ون ان اٹس ٹیچنگ اینڈ دا پرنسپل آف نان وائلنس از مور سینٹرل ٹو دا بدھزم دین اینی ادر ریلیجن so what the question comes why the buddhist monks had started their hate speech against muslims joining the mobs that have left dozens dead and the challenge grown to the level that now near a million or more are living in bangladesh or other states they have no space to live in their own areas. Their houses have been burned, their hospitals, schools, colleges, etc. What it prevailed at that time, the facility to them, the Muslims, it has gone. <coughs> in current history, we see that while over thousand miles of Indian Ocean, Burma and Sri Lanka have a lot of Buddhist population. It is puzzling that our neither countries face an Islamist militant threat. Muslim in both areas, Burma and Sri Lanka, are non-violent, peaceable, and small minority. In Sri Lanka, the issue of halal sectoral slaughter has been had been the flashpoint, but it came through the Buddhist monks, members of the Bodhu, Balasena, The Buddhist Brigade hold rallies called for direct action against the, and against the Muslims and boycotting the Muslim business and rail against the size of Muslim families, that how many members they have in their families. So what the question comes, that again and again Muslims have been targeted in Sri Lanka and Bangladesh, uh, in Burma. The situation is uh, far more serious. The antagonism and the spear is the spearheaded by the 969 group led by Monk Ashin Vishu Vedhatu, uh, who was jailed in 2003 for inciting religious hatred. And he had been released after almost nine years and he referred himself as the Burmese bin Laden. that he, ha- he is against Muslims living in Burma. March saw an outbreak in the same year, and now this episode has not ended till. But with this mark, meant to be the good guys of the religion, why it has again and again started hatred against Muslims? <sighs> Aggressive thoughts are Uh, inimical to the Buddhist teachings. Buddhism comes equipped with the practical way to eliminate them. As we discussed that through mediation, the distinction between the feeling and those others should begin to dissolve. And also compassion for the other comes. Of course, there is strong strain of pacifism in Christian teaching too. When we see love your enemies in Islam too, in the sermons of the Friday prayers that you have to spread love. But again, the Buddhists who proclaim themselves more peaceful around the world in their teachings have their hands red-blooded with the blood of the Muslims, Christians, and especially the Muslim minorities. There is a really high level of tension between Buddhists and Muslims in the region where two groups have shared space, specifically in the Myanmar, Rakhine state, southern Thailand, Sri Lanka, Ladakh, and eastern part of Jammu and Kashmir, what we call occupied uh, Jammu and Kashmir, the occupied area. If you see the Rahula, the Sutta he says, the Buddha, says to the Rahula that Rahula are the desirous to do, doing a deed with the body. You have to reflect your deed with the body. It means that deed I am desirous 
with the body is the deed of the body that might conduce to the harm of self and that might conduce to the harm of the others might conduce to the harm of the both and yield is anguish and result is anguish so if you have if you start hating the bodies the hatred start from within and then anguish and hatred and animate in animosity <clears throat> brings fear bloodshed and nothing to others and what is the right action so to say is abstaining from taking life from stealing and from illicit sexual relation or sexual misconduct this is the right action but what happens but what we see that normally the buddhist doctrinal tradition there is little evidence of intolerance justification of the violence no conception even the just wars or the holy wars so there is however the buddhism the long tradition of self inflicted there we find that form of uh, uh, protest as exemplified the use of fire and burn the show of determinations among the chinese monks but the self immolation of monks such as the third crank during the vitamba named thich quang shuk normally is difficult to uh, pronounce the chinese and the east asian names but we try to give a good one <clears throat> in thailand in south east asia are several prominent uh, vilakant uh, buddhist monks called for violence in the 1970s the nationalist buddhist monk like fra he argued that killing communists did not violate the, any of the buddhist perceptions the militant side of thai buddhism became prominent again in uh, 2004 when a male muslim in surgency renewed in uh, uh, thailand specifically deep south the first buddhist monks ignored then they started uh, overwhelmingly political uh, that they viewed it as a uh, and addressed as identity formation so they started devout uh, the and the dev- deviation they realized and they not realized they started to deviate from the religious ideals and started to act against the muslims in myanmar in recent years uh, the state peace and development council the military regime of the uh, burma from 88 to 2000 had strongly encouraged the conversion of ethnic minorities often by force as part of the campaign of assimilation the regime that started to work the vision of a buddhist burmese nationalism as a cultural and political ideology you remember buddhist burmese nationalism and that is completely totalitarian totalitarian ideology the saffron revolution a series of economic and political protests and also demonstrations like that took place during 2007 and onwards they started the civil resistance alvos they named it as a civil resistance against muslims in japan we see as we discussed during the second world war it started ikushu and the ikiki rebellions in the osaka they defended their temples with but then they stated the mercy of the buddha should be recompensed by pounding flesh into pieces once obligation to the teacher should be recompensed recompensed even by smashing bones to the bits it means that buddhist violence in japan had been uh, so rude that japanese buddhist literature also stated that in order to establish an eternal peace in south asia they stated arousing the great benevolence and compassion of buddhism they had to sometimes be forceful and they started working for war not against war and this is something which mahayana buddhism approved only with the greatest seriousness up no almost 
all Japanese tem uh, temples at that time in World War II uh, supported the Japanese militarization and start, is start of war against others. In Sri Lanka, we see again that unique history is there. That important loan, role of shaping Sinhali nationalist identity. Again, here the identity is there. And minorities, especially Tamil, they have been targeted. If we see in detail, in India as well, in other areas, especially in uh, uh, 2020 era, uh, 20, from 2011 to 2020, we see that Nobel Prize Peace winner uh, Sukhji, she also stated for the favorite name of the Buddhist nationalism, the Burmese Buddhist nationalism. And this states that a uh, nation, the United Nations and the other uh, national and uh, sorry, regional and international forums have to intervene for the human cause, but they failed. And now, coming to the next discussions, we will be discussing how this discourse of peace to violence has affected the other minorities and the communities. See you inshallah ta'ala. Stay tuned. Dear audience, please like, comment and share our videos for spreading the truth. Subscribe our channel Creative Studio. Press the bell icon for more updates. Keep in touch with us. Thank you.